if you're running a virtual machine in Windows 7, if you have the uh, Windows XP virtual machine, normally when you set it up for the first time, it allocates 256 megs of memory, which is absolutely worthless, and the machine crawls. So I'm going to show you how to change that. You need to go up to the top where it says Control Alt Delete, and you'll click that with your mouse. And when you click that with the mouse, you're going to get a box that comes up, normally like any other Windows machine, where you can uh, click the taskbar, or you can do shutdown, or you can do restart. And what you want to do is click the uh, shutdown button. You need to have the virtual machine completely shut down to be able to change the memory. You cannot do it while it's in hibernate mode, which is normally how the machine is set up. Now when you do the shutdown mode, when you press shutdown, you're going to get an option to shut down, to restart, to do install of the updates before the shutdown, and that's what's going on here right now. I'm installing seven updates, which probably have been uh, updated months ago, but it just never did an install. The system really never shut down because I just put it in hibernate mode. And so this is going to take a long, long time, mainly because I'm running 256 megs of memory, which is the least amount of memory that XP can run on. So when the machine boots up again, or actually when the machine shuts down, the virtual machine, I will show you what you need to do to change the memory. Now, if you try to do that already by going into clicking the tools menu up here on the virtual machine, if you click the tools menu and then you clicked on settings, that's when you got a box coming up and you were able to click on the left where it said uh, memory and it showed 256 megs, but on the right side everything was grayed out because you cannot make setting changes while the virtual machine is running. It needs to be completely shut down. So again, if you were running the virtual machine, press the Control-Alt-Delete button. Sorry, the lighting's bad here. Press the Control-Alt-Delete over here on the top of your virtual machine, and then do a shutdown, and when your machine shuts down, or when my machine shuts down, I will show you what the next step is. While I'm waiting for the virtual machine to shut down, I want to show you a couple things. You're going to want to go to your local drive C, and then you're going to want to click on Users, and then name, and then app data, and then local, and then Microsoft, and virtual, the Windows virtual PC, and then virtual machines. That will get you into this folder here, where you're going to see a couple files. Now, I'm not really sure which one we're going to be dealing with yet. I believe we're going to be dealing with the VMC file, which is the uh, main file. Um, the setup file, as you can see over there, it says virtual machine settings file. And just a note, if you ever start your virtual machine and you get a message that says that it cannot, what am I trying to think of? If you start the virtual machine and it says that it's not able to communicate with the main machine, which really means you can't do copy and paste, you want to take this VMC file and back it up or delete it. You can see where I've backed it up before. You want to back it up or delete it. The minute you delete it, when you go to start the virtual machine again, it will start up and make this file, and then you will be able to do what you need to do. So if you ever get into that situation where virtual machine doesn't start up, delete this file or just rename it, do a backup name, and then start virtual machine and everything should work. Now that we are done with that explanation, I'm going to right-click on this VMC file, just so you can see what happens. We have open, we have some, uh, some options here in this menu. Uh, we don't see anything that says settings. Let's try the top one here, the VHD file. Right-clicked on that, we don't see anything that says settings in there either. And that's what uh, we're going to find after the virtual machine is shut down. We should see a settings menu. So this message pops up that Windows is increasing the size of the virtual memory paging file. Obviously, because I am trying to do the install still, 
I'm at five out of seven. I've been installing for about 45 minutes now, and the machine is having a hard time finishing. So the paging file is getting bigger, and then after this process is finished, everything should shut down, and I'll be able to go into the settings and increase the memory. The good news is that it is doing the seventh of seven installs, and as you can see, it says that it's going to shut off automatically, and it's doing that right now, shutting down. Here we go. Almost time to do the settings change that I want to show you. Time to start over again so that this makes a little bit more sense, because what I told you before is not going to work. You need to go over to the virtual Windows Virtual PC in your menu. Click the Start menu. Go to the Windows Virtual PC. Double-click it. Crap. Go over to the virtual, the Windows Virtual PC and double click that again. That's where the tricky part is. You have to double click the Windows Virtual PC twice. That opens up this menu, which you can see over here, or this folder Name Virtual Machines. This is what you need to be at. If you don't do what I just showed you, you are never going to get to this point. You can see we've got memory 256 megs. You right click on this guy, and that's where the settings menu is. If you do it, do it the way I showed you, going into uh, right clicking the folders, you're never going to find the settings menu. Settings menu. Okay, now we don't have anything that says, you can see how I changed that over there to shut down. Close would be shut down. Now we're able, to, you don't have a, a message over there saying you can't change your memory, or you shouldn't. Hopefully that doesn't show up. Good, it didn't show up. It allows me to change my memory now, the allocated memory. Available memory is 3712 meg, and that's what I'm going to put in because 256, this virtual machine is absolutely worthless. So let's do 3712. And then I'm going to click on OK down here. If your computer allocates more than 3340 of RAM to the virtual machine, the computer might experience performance issues. Oh. So it said that this is what's available, but it doesn't want me to do that. So let's do 3,000. Let's just go with 3,000. I don't get a message anymore. I'm going to click OK. And I think all is good in the hood, but I'm going to go check that settings thing one more time. Um, it saved the memory that I wanted, and I don't want it to do the shutdown anymore. I want it to do hibernate, so let me click and close. And I want it to do what it was doing before, which is hibernate. You have the option to uh, get prompted, and I'm going to click OK. And now I should be able to start up my machine, and hopefully everything is going to work. So let me close all these folders. And that folder that I told you to go into before, just ignore all of that. But the VMC setting, if you ever have a problem with integration, that's what you want to do. You want to delete the VMC file or do a backup. Now I'm clicking on the icon to start up the virtual machine, and hopefully it's going to run a little bit better with 3 gigs of memory instead of 256 megabyte. I always wondered why this thing didn't work fast, and that seems to be the reason. The virtual machine is booting up now. It does appear it's kind of slow still, but I'm going to click on Tool, Settings, and Hibernate. It saved Hibernate like I wanted to. It saved Hibernate like I wanted it to. Memory is now at 3 gig, and we have that message again that you must shut down the system to change the memory. So it looks like everything worked the way it was supposed to. If you like my videos, do a thumbs up, subscribe, a like, go to my channel page if this tech support helped you, saved you some money or time. Click on my uh, channel page and go to the support button and uh, pop a few mil in there and leave a little thank you note. Appreciate it. Hopefully this helped. That's the most important thing. Good luck. I just wanted to follow up and say this change is incredible going from 250 megs to 3 gigs. Huge difference if you haven't made the change on your virtual machine. 
from Windows 7 to the XP mode, you definitely want to do that right away.